What's going on, print fam? If this is your first time here, my name's Cam. Welcome to the Print Life Screen Printing Daily Vlogs. Ooh, ah. I wish I could pop lock, that'd be so cool. Cause now would be the perfect time for a super dope pop locking fucking session. Oh, oh, oh. Intro. Changing up my morning ritual slightly. I've always said, or I've never answered emails in the morning. I've always waited till the afternoon. The whole thing is, is that uh, I'm a child when it comes to uh, like daily routines. I don't have one. I never have. I like to shake shit up. I don't like the same thing over and over again. So I'm switching it up, and instead of waiting till the afternoon to deal with emails because I hate them so, they get my blood boiling, I'm gonna start crushing them like first thing in the morning. I'm not 100% convinced that it's the way to go. I think it may just be a recipe to increase your stress levels, but uh, that's what I'm doing. In an effort to uh, keep my posture, my hunched over posture under control because I've been working on computers for so long, I raised my machine up. So now instead of being, you know, which is how I've worked for the better part of uh, my whole life on the computer, now I'm looking up, I keep my chest up, and it's a lot easier because my viewing angle is raised up. It's 9.45 crushed my emails. Turns out I'm only stressed answering emails because I'm like, I don't know, I'm afraid the phone's gonna ring or that somebody's gonna walk in. If I get to them before we're open, I'm stress free. Oh, they hopped on your truck. Oh, my Damn. Man. Walked across the roof, jumped on there, went in there. Looks like we got someone sneaking in. Some little criminal fuck. See his footprint right here. I'm gonna need to warn Block body. Studios. Yep, right up onto the roof. Boom. There it is. That's what he did. What yep. a fuck. I'm gonna, a little art rework. My designer. A common problem when you're dealing with graphics is that let's say you get artwork that's on a white background. Uh, but you're gonna print it on a dark shirt. A lot of the times if the designer doesn't think ahead and go, oh, well this should be printed this way, we shouldn't just invert the colors, it ends up being a negative of the original graphic. It's supposed to look like that, where the gorillas, all the outlines are black, right? You see how it's a negative, and all of the gorilla, the lines that should be black are now white, it's just inverted, so it's not separated properly. And this is a common thing that I see even a lot of print shops do because they don't set the artwork up correctly. And so I'm doing it now. Yeah, that that computer out there is just struggling to handle the graphics side of things. So I'm restarting it. Where's my coffee? I had a delicious cup of joe and I just let it go. Still good cold. I'll take it. This computer is just putting along, bro. I'm trying to film a tutorial on Illustrator, but I'm trying to record the screen and it's a really big file size and it keeps crashing. Windows drives me crazy. When I'm doing nothing important, watching YouTube videos or listening to JRE, runs smooth as silk. But the second I gotta do actual work, it takes flying I have been trying to utilize all of the different drive options. I use some OneDrive, some Google Drive, and then some of the Adobe Creative Cloud. Dude, I can't. Uh... I can't manage all these files. It's like things are duplicating and triplicating in different areas. How do y'all manage your files? I like the cloud, but I just can't figure out how to use it effectively. I feel like everything I save gets duplicate saved. Uh, some of the clouds have access to the fucking desktop, so it saves anything I put on the desktop. It's just getting out of control. Let me know in the comments how you guys manage your files if you utilize cloud-based storage. All right. Um, I, I got to pick up where I left off yesterday, but I'm not going to do that yet because the shirts are on the way. So technically, uh, you're not going to be able to see me do the Print Life t-shirts because the shirts won't be here till tomorrow. Because I just ordered them today because I forgot to order them yesterday. But I do have to... This is going to be a red discharge on black v-neck t-shirts and I got to get those done.
All right, now I'm gonna mix up a batch of our customized red ink, red discharge ink from Matsui. It's not really custom, we just found the only way to get a bright red is to pigment load the shit out of the discharge base. thing that's always amazed me about water-based inks and the pigments or just even plastisol inks in general is the fact that I'm guilty of it too at times the fact that people don't stir it or shake it so with the pigments if you're just opening a fresh container of pigment you need to shake it if you've if it's been sitting there for a week you need to shake it before you use it with plastisol if you've just opened a gallon or a five gallon you need to stir it you need to agitate the pigments because the dense particles settle on the bottom and the carrier liquids will rise to the top. You gotta stir your damn ink. It's gotta be done. I'm going through right now and just agitating everything, cleaning the containers off, all that kind of shit. In an effort to be clean, I'm taking these bottles and I'm letting a little, this is tightly sealed so we're not getting any water inside of it. Got a lid on the top and I'm just rinsing it off. So the next time I grab it, I don't get pigment all over myself, right? Pretty simple concept. Dude, at this point, it would take all day to clean that ink shelf. Mm, not doing it. Not today. Nope. Ah, not doing it. All right, got my ink here. I'm waiting for my screen to dry, then we'll set it up and we'll, and we'll fire off uh, these 12 V-necks right quick. I got the discharge job set up, the ink mix. Uh, it's 147 right now, I'm just letting the dryers heat up and I'm gonna start production on it because usually after about 3 p.m. Uh, I can't get away from the phones, can't get away from the computer. The thing about that is that it causes me problems when I'm trying to do personal projects, like the print life shit. I did have a um, do list that I wanted to get done. I have three, actually four things. First thing is I gotta set up a press release page on Monument Limited about the print life. This would be just to uh, 
to start marketing this channel a little bit more by doing like a, a press release page uh, that all of the major publications and press and screen printing, all of them would have access to. And then I would post data about new things going on with us. And if they felt that it was newsworthy or should go in our article, then they would have access to it. Apparently, from a marketing standpoint, even if I don't have a dedicated The Print Life website, um, just having a page there is cool where it shows a, a, an example of a lot of my videos along with a bio about myself and what I do and shit like that. So I'm gonna put some kind of bio together. But I love the Samsung Note 8. Note 8. Note 8. Um, and I was just talking about them a little bit earlier, but one of the things on my to-do list today is to set up my VoIP system to dial to my cell phone. Their system's not very intuitive. It's hard to understand uh, everything that they offer. I just tried calling because I can't figure out how to use their fucking menu system. And I get put in touch with somebody who, of course, barely speaks English. And then I give them all of my verification information and they tell me that I cannot be connected because I did not pass my own security questions. Their customer service was no help, but I think that I figured out how to forward it to this simultaneously along with this. I'm having somebody call it right now just to see if it does ring to my cell phone simultaneously. Uh, tried the first time to get it to ring to both phones. Uh, my girlfriend just called. Didn't work. Dude, why does my face always itch when I go to record? Uh, so I just messaged her again to try to call one more time. Hopefully this time it works. What the hell? All right, we got forwarding working, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, hello? So it cuts out a little bit. It's not great, but it works. So, so it'll get the job done in a pinch. Uh, on it, need to get Bluetooth, but it seems to be okay. And the nice thing is, is when it rings, it tells you uh, this is from your thing, so if you want to answer, press one now. So it's all good, we're working it out, man. At least I got one thing from my to-do list done. Had five things on it. Got one done. I guess one's better than none. Uh, as soon as I get my midday edit done, I will then proceed to start building my bio on my website for the Print Life page uh, so that I got that there as well. I don't even remember why I needed to do that. I can't remember, but I'm going to do it. And then, I've, uh, then another thing on the list, which I probably won't get to today, is to start a press release page. 644 and I was not able to get to the really either of them either the press release page or the bio on the website didn't get either of them done this is the issue with vlogging it ends up taking so much of your time out of the day that it's it's a that it's it's hard to do anything else man so with that I'm gonna call this day a wrap take care of yourselves print fam Ooh. peace out